Hey, this is Brandon. I'm here to show you my system sensor carbon monoxide detector that is wired to this fire alarm panel. And what I'm going to show you is how to properly wire it. As you can tell, I already move, removed the cover plate off of it for this demonstration. And also, I got the manual right here. So if anyone is interested in pausing their video to read this, I would greatly encourage that. Alright, so that's basically all that's saying right there, but here's the most important part when you wire these things up. When you wire these up, you have your power right over here. You have to run a jumper from normally open to um, tamper, and you have to run a resistor from common to tamper. Otherwise, when the smoke when the carbon monoxide detector is no longer in service, it will open a relay in here and it will tell your control panel that the to check your carbon monoxide detector and that it's no longer in, usable in service. And so that's why it's very important to wire it like this and not put your resistor right here where the zones are at. This is how you would test it if you were just using a test button. So you just hold that down. That's all it does right there. See, then it beeps in here. See, now it's an alarm. I know it sounds awfully quiet, doesn't it? See, this is what it will say on the control panel when it's triggered. Um, it will definitely tell you that it is a carbon monoxide um, detector on here. So it will say carbon monoxide zone one alarm and so forth and if it was a fire alarm it would say fire zone 10 alarm so that's kind of how this works right here okay now I got it set back to normal so that's good And um, just like it says in the manual, um, you could wire these to fire panels and stuff like that. Um, now, however, if this was wired to like a simplex panel that had a um, priority two alarm setting on there, I'd wire it to the priority two on there and then program it as a carbon monoxide alarm or such. But this, is about all the best I could do with that is program it to go set off when these go off right there and now watch this when I activate the um, knack panel reactivate the horn strobes by putting this key in this is what it does makes the strobes flash for a moment I don't know why but it just does for a few seconds, then it shuts right back off. I think that's trying to detect a resistor or, or something in the end of the line. So who knows? But anyways, so as you were to set this off with the horns enabled, this is what it will do right here. Yep, it's, I don't know if you can see it, it says zone one right up there. Um, this is not the 
most ideal um, keypad to use for programming or anything. That's why I have it down here in the basement. Now, however, um, that's why the master keypad is upstairs, but this one is just down here because this one's not really ideal for any type of programming or anything like that. This one's just ideal to silence and reset. That's about it. But anyways, I just wanted to show you my carbon monoxide detector, and thanks for watching.